It's called sticks. They're little baby breadsticks. And this is the pan that makes it all possible. You make an olive oil based dough and we're going to make that today. And you put it in this pan, put it in the microwave and in about six minutes you have crunchy, delicious little breadsticks. First you want to grate about an ounce of cheese and you want it pretty finely grated. We like to use this container grater from Edgeware because it really works well. And as we all know, any recipe with cheese is great. Cheese is one of the basic food groups. So you want to grate till you get about an ounce of cheese and we'll weigh it to check that. Then I always like to store our cheese in these Formaticum cheese bags because they really do extend the life of the cheese. So we'll weigh it, we'll use the prep bowl from Chefin and the food scale from OXO. And so by putting the bowl on first and turning it on and zeroing it out, you eliminate the weight of the bowl when you're weighing it. Then you just take your cheese, dump it in here, and voila, we've got about an ounce. Actually, we have a little more, but that's not a bad thing. And now we put this into our mixing bowl. One of the great things about this OXO scale is that if you do get it dirty, you can merely take off the top, put the rest of the ingredients in here, and then just give it a rinse under water to get it clean without worrying about the mechanism. Then once it's clean, you just snap it back on. Now we're going to measure the yogurt and the olive oil, and you want an ounce and a half of each. And it's normally fairly difficult to measure an ingredient like that that you have to pack in because packing it out is a little bit difficult. But here you just take your OXO adjustable cup, you set it on your dry measurement, and you set it at one and a half ounces, then pack it like this and then all you have to do is twist it, scrape it off, and you've got your ingredients. Now we're ready to measure our liquid, so that's our olive oil. And again, you can use the same measuring cup because this OXO adjustable cup is marked in both liquid measures and dry measures. So in this case, you go to the liquid fill section. You take this down so that it's one and a half ounces. So that'll give you one and a half ounces to this line. And then measure out your ingredient and just pour it out. So the gasket holds all of this in place. And there you go. Now add one egg. this point you want to whisk the ingredients together and these are your moist ingredients. Then we'll get the dry ones in there and now we'll start adding our dry ingredients. So first we've got a heaping teaspoon of baking powder and then a regular teaspoon of sugar. This, I think, helps with the browning. And then, oh, probably about a quarter of a teaspoon of salt, kosher salt here. Now we're going to weigh our flour, and we weigh our flour because it's a more accurate measure. This we're going to weigh in grams, and the scale has a terrific ability to change from metric units to U.S. units to fluid ounces. So we're now in grams, and we need 65 grams of flour. So just add it until we get to 65. We're at 53. Okay, we went a little bit over, but it's no problem because you just can back it out. We're at 64, come in a little bit more, and perfect. 
65. So now we'll add the flour to the bowl and we'll mix that in. Now if you want to, you can add some more spices. We like to add a little bit of dried chili with this ad hoc chili mill. And uh, this will give it a little bit of a nice kick. Now what we like to do before we put the batter into the sticks pan is to take some of the coarse sea salt and just sprinkle it in. If you're a fan of this site, you know that we love salt. And this will give you a little bit of crunch in your breadsticks. Now you have two ways of going to put your batter into your uh, sticks pan. One, you can use a piping bag and go through each little trough. And that's not a bad way to go, but we like to do this, make it much easier. So I just dump some of the batter, take this scraper from OXO, which is a really nice flexible scraper, and just scrape the batter back and forth to fill up the little troughs. And this takes a lot less time. So it doesn't have to be perfect, you just want pretty good coverage and you want it just a little bit below the line. So you can just kind of scrape off the excess like that. And now we're going to microwave it. And depending on your microwave, ours is 1200 watts. So we put it in at about 60% for about six minutes. So these were in for a total of seven minutes. You dump them out of the pan, so they come out very easily, and just let them sit for about 10 minutes, and believe me, your patience will be rewarded. Okay, so we've waited about half an hour. These sticks just get better and better as more time passes. So let's try them. You can hear it's crunchy, it's salty, they are totally addictive. Thank, excuse me for talking with my mouth open, but thank you for joining us at Colbert Kitchen.